When it's two degrees outside and you wear your hoodie, it feels like it's five degrees. When it's two degrees outside and you wear two hoodies, it feels like it's 12 degrees. When you wear three hoodies in two degrees, it starts feeling like it's 18. When you wear three hoodies and your coat hat at two degrees, you can't really tell what temperature it is anymore. Your head starts hurting a little bit. You can't hear anything. And it's getting difficult to breathe. Look a nice warm day. When you walk, I'm walking on ice. Whoa, almost fell. <laughs> so I'll be making today's video under the porch because it's too windy out there. You won't be able to hear me when I'm talking. If I do go out there, you're just gonna hear this. And it's a real feel of minus two. And the road trip videos are going to end in about another four or five weeks. And after that, I'll make some longer videos, maybe answering questions about Alaska and just comparing my experiences with everything, with rent prices, with food prices, with gas prices, and compare that to other YouTube videos. Because I think a lot of videos exaggerate to make things seem more exciting. And I think if you hang around and you listen to at least my opinions, you're going to be surprised that... Alaska really isn't all that they say, but I'll be making those videos probably in four or five weeks. So last week I visited Glacier View and that was one of my favorite drives along the entire trip. Very nice scenery, just a really nice place to visit. There's actually almost 400 people who live up there. We didn't see anyone. I don't see where they could have lived, I guess way back in the woods. But I was surprised when I saw there's actually like 375 people who live up there. But I'm going to recommend if you drive through Alaska or go through Alaska, you should go to Glacier View. It's kind of in between Anchorage and Glen Allen. So after Glacier View, I stopped by Eureka, Alaska, which is a really small town. I guess there's about 24 people who live there. And I'm not sure if it's called Eureka or Eureka Roadhouse because the sign said Eureka, but when you read about it, it calls it Eureka Roadhouse. So it's either called Eureka or Eureka Roadhouse. I'm going with Eureka. I didn't see any roadhouses there. And it was just a little bit of nothing. Trees, a road, no stores, no anything there don't see any people but despite nothing being there I really like these kind of areas they're just really nice to look at you know I mentioned before it's like um, it's very natural it's not touched much by human hands and I'll get the comments where it says of course it was touched there's a road that drives by it that's not what I mean I mean when you look on both sides of the road you just see probably thousands if not tens of thousands of uh, acres of forest and you're pretty sure that no one's ever walked straight through there so there's a lot of land that's untouched there and it just looks natural and I think for myself it just looks really pretty and I just prefer looking at that than billboards shopping malls you know traffic and stuff like that here the crunchy <laughs> <laughs> 